Hello my friends and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. This week has been an incredible week because we have finally had a glimpse at the family members cards. So as you know in the previous weeks Gun has released the survivor cards with all their attributes and what it all means so we can have a bit of an idea of what each survivor will specialize in, what they're going to be good at, what they're going to be bad at and also what their special ability is. And this week we have had the same with the family members. So let's meet the family. We are going to be breaking down every single attribute for you and also what each ability of the family member means so you don't have to look for it. But of course I will drop a link on this community post from Gun down below in the description so check it out for yourself. So first let's go through the attributes and what each one of these mean. Savagery directly affects the amount of damage you deal with melee hits but should not be seen as simple as strength. Think of Savagery as a proficient efficiency level for killing in game, used in conjunction with endurance as a way to determine the full potential for damage dealt. Next one is harvesting. Harvesting affects the amount of blood you gain for grandpa when interacting with victims. It does not, however, affect the amount of blood gained from buckets around the map. Buckets? Melee hits, grapples with victims and executions are the specific interactions that can fill your blood vial depending on your harvesting stat. Similar to the victim's attribute, endurance affects the stamina drain and recharge rate. On the family side, however, melee strikes also drain stamina, making the endurance attribute important for dealing damage as well for mobility. So Savagery is all about how much damage you can deal with your melee hits. But it sounds like the amount of endurance you have will also have an impact on how much damage you're gonna deal on your victims. I mean, harvesting, there are buckets around the map that you can fill with blood. What the hell is going on? This game is gonna be sick. So the way endurance works for the family members with melee strikes also draining stamina, it's a massive game changer for the victims, actually. This gives the victims a bit of an advantage, but I think they're trying to balance out how strong the family members can be together. So the first card we're going to talk about is the cook. So the cook, he is the owner of the gas station, he runs the household, he is kind of the leader, but he can also add additional locks to the doors around the house. He starts the match with three in his inventory and these locks can be removed and added back into his inventory should he choose to relocate one of them. The cook can also close crawl spaces causing victims to need to reopen them quietly. Very interesting mechanics. So the sick ability allows the cook to lean in and listen carefully to any strange sounds he might detect around the map. If a sound is detected, he can focus on it, revealing the location of the victim, unfortunate enough to be making the most noise. He's got 35 points in savagery, 30 points in harvesting, and only 5 points in endurance. So I really think he's gonna be the one telling the other family members, this is where the victims are, let's go and get them. And if he's lucky enough, he'll be able to go for himself and also make the kill. So the second member of the family is Sissy. She's a little bit similar to the Hitchhiker and she can not only traverse through gaps and crawl spaces, she can also utilize hiding spots to get the jump on victims. So her ability is Bane. So she can craft poisons and she'll be able to blow the poison powder into the faces of the victims and also use it to contaminate items around the map. So I can already see the victim sneaking around, touching a lamp to turn it off, and then that's poison, so they get po I mean, it just sounds brilliant actually, the way it's just gonna work. Sissy's got 10 points in savagery, she's got 40 points in harvesting, so she'll be able to draw a lot of blood from the victims, and then she's got 30 points in endurance. Very good stats. So the third card we have received is from the completely disjointed Hitchhiker. He was so creepy in the movie, I love him. So he is the slippery one and his traversal is a perfect example of that. He can play as the persistent pursuer that is tough to shake off, chasing victims through gaps and crawl spaces. His high endurance marks means he's swiping at you relentlessly while doing so. And then the Hitchhiker's ability is the trap. So he's handy with a pile of bones and his trap ability is an extension of that. The macabre artist can place traps around the map that are alert him when an unsuspecting victim steps in. He's got 15 points in savagery, 30 points in harvesting and 40 points in endurance. So he's got the highest endurance of all the family members so you can really see what they mean when they say he can be difficult to shake off. The fourth family member card we received is from Johnny. So what it says on the community post from Johnny is that aside from being able to actually track you through the map, Johnny can also put his frame to work for him by being able to instantly barge doors as well as 
as close crawl spaces in game. His hits are also concussive, delivering an extra layer of disorientation on attack to helpless victims. He just sounds brutal. His ability is hunt. Johnny is a stalker, a predator, and like any true predator, he's a skilled hunter. His hunt ability allows him to see and track the fresh footsteps of victims around the map. So another family member that just sounds very brutal. So he has got 40 points of savagery, 15 points in harvesting, and 30 points in endurance. So he sounds very brutal and, and similar to the Hitchhiker in some ways because he's got high endurance and you're probably going to be able to boost that with some perks. So he probably is going to be one difficult to shake off, especially if he can track your footsteps. Now, the last one, the main family member, the butcher of the family, Leatherface. So he obviously is going to be the most brutal in the group. He's the destructive type. He can destroy crawl spaces, barricades and doors. Barricades being one of the few items that can give victims a bit of separation from the more nimble family members like Sissy and the Hitchhiker. This destructive option changes the routes present in the map each match. So he'll be able to change the way the map shapes so that the victims won't be able to go through some spaces anymore. And not only that, his main ability is called Maim. And he reads, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Leatherface carries the saw. The saw is the Maim ability. He can utilize it in a variety of ways, not least of which is to dismember any victims he might get his hands on. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it sounds like he can use his ability to destroy the environment and also to attack the victims. He obviously can switch on and switch off his chainsaw to make him more stealthy if needed. But I think I read somewhere that if he starts the chainsaw at a certain point, he'll be able to do an insta kill or something. I'm not quite sure. He's got a whopper 45 points on savagery, 10 points of harvesting and 35 points in endurance. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy meeting the family and I'm sure you, just like myself, can't wait to play this game. We don't know when it comes out. We're all guessing is early next year, January, February, March, who knows? But this is looking so promising. And, and if you haven't seen another video I made on this game, I'm gonna put the link just up here in the top right corner because I really think having three killers and five victims is a huge game changer for the genre. And I'm really interested to see how this is gonna shape. If you watched until here, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe for more news on Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I will see you all next time.